okay welcome back so in this video we are going to cover 1 b3 and then a5 which is a very interesting idea black has been playing this like especially players like jobawa have been playing it and its idea is to play a4 and when the knight moves to c3 to play a3 to bother the white bishop so that's the idea of 1 a5 but okay so what white does here is he plays e4 taking the center controlling these two squares and we let him do what he wants to he goes a4 okay now we go knight f3 because a b3 c b3 is an interesting pawn structure that i will show you later in this video so here black can also play e6 so after e6 what white does is he plays b a4 okay rook a4 now white plays d4 now the idea is bishop d3 castle and c4 so we'll have center this rook is misplaced pieces are not developed and white has a very pleasant position so another option is knight f6 so the idea is attacking this pawn so okay white def defends it if takes takes and we are going to see a similar kind of position further but i think the knight on f6 for now is misplaced as white is planning to play e5 knight d5 and bishop b2 and also d4 and has a very good center control so he goes a b3 fine we take c b3 and now okay if knight f6 knight c3 would transpose again with the same idea to play e5 bishop b2 d4 so black plays e6 so after e6 we just continue our plan we'll just play what we wanted knight c3 now again we have a lead in development we have developed two pieces while black hasn't developed a single one so he go let's say if he goes d5 so d5 we play e5 now the idea is to play d4 if knight is and d4 we are going bishop d3 castle and it's a very pleasant position so c5 now knight b5 this is a key move to remember and you must remember why to play this now we are taking control of this and as we'll see what white wants next knight c6 here i would like all of you to guess the move yeah how white plays pause the video and guess it okay i hope you found the correct move so the move is a4 so the idea is bishop a3 and d4 trying to get control over the d6 square so he, if he goes bishop e7 bishop a3 now we are also threatening rook c1 knight d6 attack th this pawn and if he goes f6 we go bishop b2 and now we'll see the obvious weaknesses this is a weak pawn king is very weak pieces are in developed so he goes bishop d7 he tries to develop okay we'll stick to our plan now knight d6 is threatened rook c1 is threatened yeah okay so now let's see the main line which is knight f6 so this is a very interesting move he just develops the piece and maybe tries to play d5 at one point okay so here white has three options basically all of them being very interesting so let's say the first one being bishop b2 but I prefer to delay it because the point being later in some positions white can get his bishop to f4 after playing d4 so there it would be much better compared to here but it's still possible I'll show you how black can play next d5 e5 knight of d7 d4 and bishop e7 and the plan is to castle next and play c5 so now we'll see with the bishop on c1 what is the advantage and e5 is a very interesting option knight d5 bishop c4 knight b6 bishop e2 d6 and okay this is a very playable position for white i would prefer white's position you can play like bishop b2 castle and you have a development advantage white has developed three pieces with his move and black has developed only one but okay i prefer to play bishop e2 
but other options are also well good enough so you can also choose in up to you any move is fine so bishop e2 i have covered it a bit more deeply so let's stick to that so e d5 so this is black's main sorry this is black's main plan so d5 we go e5 knight f d7 d4 and now we see yeah with the bishop on c1 he can come to f4 so c5 knight b5 knight c6 if we go castle he takes cd4 now i would like the audience to guess the move as it's an important move i hope you found the correct move bishop g5 queen b6 and knight f d4 now look we have good knight good bishop and rook will join the attack and look at this king this is so exposed covered by all the pieces and even if we lose this pawn it doesn't matter because the initiative is just devastating so bishop e7 black also knows what white wants so he tries to develop his pieces okay we go castle castle and bishop f and now we see yeah why the bishop is more useful here than here so bishop f4 c5 we go knight b5 knight c6 a4 so we are just playing black tries to develop with bishop a6 but we play queen d2 we don't care bishop a6 and rook c1 and now we see yeah, white has developed all the pieces has a good stable center good outpost for the knight and is doing very well so now we go to the second main move let's say he goes bishop b4 now we play e5 knight d5 bishop e2 and as we saw in the previous lines white is doing very well here he has a good center better development so he's doing fine here Pro white is just simply better so no issues here so bishop e7 well what black wants is obvious castle play d5 play c5 and we play castle as well castle and now i'll show you a trick here so and i would like you to guess the move what do you would do with white i hope you found the right move here d4 is a bad move and the refutation being very interesting bishop b4 and we lose this pawn by force this is attacked this is attacked so a4 is the point and now when we play d4 if he'll play bishop b4 attacking our knight we'll have knight a2 square which we didn't have when the pawn was on a2 so okay he can play knight a6 d4 bishop b4 if d5 e5 94 bishop b2 white is doing very well here without any problem whatsoever so he can play bishop b4 knight a2 and now all this doesn't work and now if he takes knight e4 we have bishop a6 b a6 and knight b4 we win a piece so it's not possible what he was doing previously so here he has to change his strategy so he goes d5 okay white says i'll i don't care whatever you do i'll play e5 he goes let if he goes knight e4 we go queen c2 and if knight f d7 we go d4 c5 and knight b5 so now what white wants is bishop f4 and rook c1 or in some cases bishop a3 and rook c1 he has a better center which is very good all developed pieces and black is still not developed still he hasn't connected the rooks so white white has a definite advantage and yeah so this position is very interesting and uh, i think white has a clear edge over black 
so with that i think we are done with one a5 which is not a great move if white knows what he's doing so i hope you'll remember all this stuff so if somebody plays a5 it would be very easy for white to play on if he plays e4 he takes the center so okay in the next video we would be covering one b6 after b3 we would be covering b6 which is a bit bigger topic and more interesting i hope you like the video see you in the next video